Hi everyone, this is a short instructional uh, clip to show you how you can embed videos onto web pages. Uh, you've probably seen this all the time where people embed YouTube clips onto web pages, but recently Google Drive have made it possible that you can do this without having to publish your stuff to YouTube. You just need to save your files to Google Drive or Google Docs. So I'm in Google Drive right now. Uh, I've navigated to the right folder already and I've got several video files here and I'm going to upload one to Schoology and embed it on my Schoology page so that my students can watch it. You could do this with clips that students have made or that you have made or clips that you've grabbed off the web as well. So first thing to do is to open the file you want. So it's mic.mp4. I click it and it will bring up a preview which I could then watch. However, I don't want to just watch the preview, I want to actually open the file. When it opens, it looks just like most Google Docs. You've got share and your standard menus here and a player that looks a lot like a YouTube player if you're familiar with that. Because we want to allow other people to view this video, we need to go up to share and we need to change it because currently it's set to private so only the people on this list can watch it. We need to change that so that anyone with the link can watch it. This means that people can't just search for it on the internet but if anyone goes to it on Schoology, they will be able to watch it. And we've set it to set can view. Save. Done. And the next thing is file. And we want to embed this video. We want to place it on our web page. It's got the embed code here. You click on that, right click, and copy. Okay, that step's done. I'm going straight over to Schoology now and I've already started editing a page. This is the page editor that is open here. Um, I've already got a few things. These yellow boxes represent other videos I've got in there. When you're viewing it normally, they will actually have the videos, but in the editor you just see a yellow box. Um, we can't just paste it into this. We have to actually edit the HTML code to paste it in. To help you do that, I want to put it in this table position. You can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to write in replace because then when I go to the HTML code, I'll be able to easily scan through, find the word replace, Oops. select just that word, delete it, and in its place, I paste the embed code. When I go back to the visual layout now, you can see I've got a big yellow box here. It's a bit hard to see, but there's the yellow box there, uh, which represents the video. I'm finding that's actually too big. If I didn't have the questions on the right, that would be fine. But for this, because I do have the questions, it's too big. So if you ever want to, you can go into the HTML code and where it's got width and height, you just change those numbers. So the width is 640, I'll halve it to 320. And 385, half of that is approximately 192 to, with some rounding. Go back to the visual out and you can see now it's much smaller. and I've got them all the same size. Once I'm done I save changes and once it loads I should have a nice uh, YouTube style video player. There it is. So I've got all three of my clips embedded now on my web page with the questions next to it. Hope you found that easy. Let me know if you need extra help um, but hopefully this video will provide enough of a guide. Good luck!